I'm chuffed. The wood chips have landed. Yes! Get in. That's good news. Looks like a conifer, doesn't it? Somebody's been chopping conifer trees down. And we've had a drop. So we've got some wood chips. This is all going to be used on our paths. So I reckon there's probably about... I mean, this morning when I came down, <clears throat> I only managed to get one barrel full because I was picking the kids up and what have you. Um, but I'm guessing there's probably about 15 barrels there. And it's first come, first served, unfortunately. So I'll be nabbing as much as I can. So wood chipping the paths is really dead easy. I've just filled up another barrel full there. I'm just going to bring it round now, tip it here at the front of the path and then just um, using the back of the rake, rake it down and then walk over it and firm it in, flatten it off, get easy. I should have had the, uh, the wheelbarrow ready for you but uh, bear with us. Bringing it round now, boys and girls. I want to make my paths a little bit wider, you know, because uh, at present they're not quite wide enough for the barrel to go down. Some of them are, and some of them aren't. This one you're looking at right now isn't not wide enough for the barrel to go down. But here we go. If I just tip the load here at the top. I've got me, uh, I've got my stash there now ready. All right, find me rake. There we are. I'm just going to draw it down the path. We need to go that way a bit. Draw some more down. You want it a couple of inches, two or three inches deep, really, every time you uh, you top it up. I just find it easier using the uh, the back of the rake. Just walk back up there, flattening out any lumpy bits. I just need a little bit more now for the top. that's it the rest of it I'm going to disperse around fill in any gaps that I find and that should be fine no path it's not rocket science is it what that does is obviously it mulches it also um, gives you some purchase so you don't get as muddy when you're walking around it looks decoratively nice it looks better than burr earth or mud and it's natural it's organic it'll, it'll rot down over the years and just become soil again but um, yeah it's like a carpet it's like walking on a carpet when you put this stuff down 
So I've just put four barrel loads in. I like it. I like how it sets off the uh, off the beds and sort of gives definition to the growing areas and the paths. Quite a nice colour that. I like it. That's conifer wood chip. That's all we've managed to get to, as a drop off. But anyway, I'm going to get another, probably about another four bags, four barrows, sorry. There we go. Nice fresh carpet down there of the conifer. Gets dropped off by the tree surgeon, but they're very, very few and far between the drop offs. We could do a drop off every week, really, on the 70 plots that we've got down here. I'm sure we could use it. We could use it up, but uh, yeah, I mean it's it's, it's a path into. It? But as I say, it's like walking on a carpet when it's down, and you don't get as muddy because of that. I'm going to go and pick my boys up now from the grandmas. Cover that bed up as well. You can get big boxes for crisps. Boxes of crisps from uh, the supermarket and just ask them for them, ask them for the big crisp boxes and uh, they tend to give them you yeah. and you can use those to cover your beds up with over winter I'm only covering a, few, covering a few of them this winter probably about four beds and the rest of them have got the horse manure on I'm going to leave that and then just weed it keep weeding it as it's coming through because you'll have lots of grass seeds in there anyway I want um, I want the widdly worms to come up I might well cover it yet actually I don't know I'm in two minds that's a, a sign of schizophrenia that isn't it if you're in two minds I'll see how I go if we can get hold of enough cardboard I might well cover it up and you, all you do is you um, put the cardboard on top take the plastic off it the cellophane off it as you can see there i've not even took the staples out i'll pick them out in the springtime doesn't really matter that's just covering the bed now that and um assisting to prevent the weeds it's more organic than using the plastic sheeting the sort of weed membrane sheeting and it does the job it excludes the light from the soil so that uh, so that the weeds don't come up for it and if they do come up they're very very weak that's the idea. I'll have to get weeding in there. There's so many things to do at this time of year, actually. Getting everything straight and prepared for next year. Couple up at top brought the little girl on. She's a lovely, lovely little girl. Laughing and joking all the time, she is. Um, a, bit, a bit like my two. I'll have to get them dragged down if the weather's alright tomorrow. Right, anyway, rambling on. That's our slug fort. For the ultimate slug protection check that out on yesterday's episode if you've uh, not seen it already I think that's going to be foolproof got the salt in the lower tray so the slugs will come over the side hit the salt won't go any further and then with the brassicas and the peas or whatever else I decide to grow in there is growing on it won't be it won't be molested by the slugs because they can't get to it there's one thing that they hate the slugs it's the salt definitely they do not like that up them Friday night now don't get too drunk if I don't see you through the week I'll see you through the winter I've been Gordon Mafinder and thanks for tuning in yet again if you like us give us a like if you don't like us <laughs> um, but if you're not already a subscriber please consider consider subscribing so that you don't miss another episode down here on the little farmer's farm and uh, remember we love you all keep growing with your heads down i've been gordon offender you've been fabulous ta-da now take care